Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Infinite Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do a Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So today, uh, I think uh, finally, after a long time, if you look at the Bank Nifty's chart, uh, Bank Nifty managed to close with the formation of lower highs. Okay, so this is how it was making lower highs, and we managed to close below the lower highs however we saw a short recovery at the end uh, but the price action is still on the bearish side if we have to consider the closing okay and previously if you see whenever bank nifty was making this kind of pattern at the end it used to close something like this so the last lower high was always taken out at the end and it used to close uh, above and that's how the bullishness continued but this is the first time after a long long time we have seen a closing something like this and if you look at the daily chart uh, if you remember i had said that since we are opening with a gap up so what are the kind of candles that we were expecting either a doji or maybe a candle something like this okay so we have a doji here so doji candles becomes easy to trade like if it breaks the low then it goes to the downside or if it breaks the high it goes to the upside but the problem is whenever there is a doji things are not that simple market usually opens with a gap up or a gap down and it starts reversing okay so there could be some confusions if you look at the daily chart and based on tomorrow's opening but however we'll discuss the levels where need to go short and where should we be going long so before that uh, we'll try and understand what our friends have taken uh, the positions at home so based on that we'll do our analysis so firstly we look at the participant wise open interest so fi is created long here so but the only difference here is they have also added some shots which was not visible before because every time whenever they add long positions we saw that they were booking the short positions but after a long time or after so many days uh, with the long positions they have also added some short positions which means now they are cautious okay so the kind of uh, up move that they were bringing in so on friday they uh, you know they bought about 3000 crores in the cash market and i think today they bought only about 1400 crores so the cash buying is also less at this level and with index future long they also added some short but this hasn't created any bearishness yet okay so but this is all about being cautious mm -hmm. and if you look at the option positions uh net short is just about 5900 and net long is about 4700 that means in the option side they are bearish and we know that the options factor in first and then the futures but this is not a good quantity from FIIs. So that is one of the reason what we have to do is tomorrow we will have to depend on option chain to understand which side the writing is more. Okay. And next, if you look at pros, uh, they have created completely sideways positions. So 1 lakh 12,000 call, uh, call short and 1 lakh 14,000 put short. So that means neutral position from pros. But the only thing is since FIIs do not have positions, uh, significant positions created today, uh, pros will also be cautious and they'll check, you know, the option chain, they'll check the order flow to understand what uh, FIIs are selling or buying. So, uh, market can be a little confusing tomorrow, at least for the 
first few hours when the big players are active until 10, 30, 11 a.m. And those times the market can be a little volatile uh, because FIs will create positions and for their quantity to be created, obviously pros have to book some positions. Okay, retailers will not be able to fill their stomach. So what do we understand from the data is it's a cautious mode and now we'll have to rely on live option chain and the price action to understand how the price is performing so now we'll uh, so just we'll also check the option chain we need to keep eye on the put call ratio it is at 1.04 which is a neutral value okay so we'll see some increase in this put call ratio tomorrow and then it may start decreasing. So people who have access to live PCR values, uh, you know, through recorded data, they can focus on that. And the second thing is uh, on the call side, the open interest is maximum at 39,400. And on the put side, the maximum is at 39,200 as per today. Okay, so the change in open interest. But the problem here is uh, put side, there is no fear. Hence, the IV is also less on the put side uh, compared to the call side. Okay, so we actually depend on at the money and uh, in the money IVs. So if you look at the call side, it is around 20. And on the put side, it is around 17.9. So no fear as of now on the put side. So when does the fear create? When the market goes down uh, sharply. So you may have to keep a watch on change in open interest and the put call ratio to understand who is the one who is, uh, you know, writing the calls or puts the most. So now coming back to the charts, uh, as expected in, in yesterday's video, I had discussed that 30... 9375 we had a resistance and we had another resistance at 39425 i think that was a fibonacci level something so market reversed around from 440 and immediately it started coming down so it was an amazing day it went as per plan so before we move into the analysis, let me also show you what happened in the algo today. So algo took some trades in the morning. So firstly, it took a call option. Uh, no, firstly, it took a put option, 39,300. Then the SL was hit. Uh, and then it took a call option. That was also SL hit. Then it took two lots of put option. Again, SL hit. Then it took two lots of call option. And that call option went on for almost about two hours. Okay, from 9.23 to 11.20. And just see where the most of the game happened. The SL was hit at 11.20. Look at the timing. 11.26 seconds, 11.27 seconds, and 11.20.47 seconds. So what happened? The call of two lots which was purchased at 9.23.31 seconds the SL got hit at 11.26 seconds and then at 11.27 seconds uh, as per Martingale it bought four lot of puts and it exited within 41 seconds to give us our target so mine closed with a profit of around 5,500 so this uh, fall I think uh, a human could not uh, have been able to capture this. This can only be done with an algo. So I'm not uh, saying that go for my algo, but I'm just saying the importance of you know a systematic trading platform. Now coming back to the analysis. Okay, so since we already discussed that Bank Nifty has formed a lower high can kind of a pattern so what happens in these kind of pattern so this is a last high okay so above that the market becomes bullish but 
since we already have formed the lower high kind of a pattern uh, here the call writers will try and defend their positions a lot okay so breaking out from this level becomes very difficult so the market can be sideways then it will consolidate with a small range and then if it goes up that means it's a breakout okay so let me just activate my levels first okay so these are the levels that i have so this was a trend line that market was following in the morning and uh, our algo target was hit around in this candle so the, the same candle the sl was hit on the call side and it took put and the target also was achieved so what we'll do here is if market opens within this range okay so what is that range 39200 to 39250 if market opens here and if it closes above 39280 so we can go for a call but the quantities are going to be very less like if you're trading two lots you'll automatically come to one lot why because this is the first time it has formed lower high patterns in an intraday and definitely the selling pressure would be there and we have seen that a lot of call writing has happened from pros and even if i have some call writing so obviously this position will be defended so not a very worthy trade but you could try to capture at least uh, around 39 400 so you can expect it to go around 39400 so the target for this is 39400 but i'm not really very interested in taking this trade looking at the participant wise open interest but this trade more or less depends on the option chain that i will see tomorrow in the live market now let's come back to the sell side so imagine if it opens flat and if it breaks this low okay so this low happens to be around 39.180 if i'm not wrong yeah it's 39.185 so if we see a closing below 39.180 uh, you can definitely go for a put here okay and what should be your target your target should be around the first target is 39,000 and the second target is 38,920. Okay, so where is 38,920? Let's check that out. So, 920 happens to be somewhere here. So, let's do it this way uh, instead of 920, we'll keep it 940. Okay, so 38.940. Then market can break this particular swing and come up to this place, which is 38.850. But at 38.850, don't even think of, uh, you know, buying a put in any case. Okay. So we will not buy a put at 38.850 even if you see that this level is breaking still you will not buy put because market will start consolidating here and then it will try to recover okay because since we are coming down for the first time obviously uh you know a lot of buyers will try to enter in so do not even think of buying a put below 39.850 so we discussed flat opening what if goes up and down and now we'll discuss gap up and gap down so let's imagine that market opens at 39,400 again. So what we'll do is you need to mark this line. Okay. Say it's opening around here. And if it is just consolidating here, since it's a resistance, the first try will be a put. Okay. A put with a small SL. So if you're entering at 39,400, your SL on the spot should be 39,400. Uh, 30 that is also enough okay because we don't even want the market to test the day high or if it opens here then we will wait for it to come down 
below 39400 and then we'll take a put position okay so what will happen is basically uh say we have a line here it opens here we need a price action something like this yesterday also i discussed a price action something like this so today we were able to see that it made a price action here and it broke this area and then we saw a good fall okay so this is what you do when the market has opened with a gap up so gap up scenario uh here at 39400 uh will buy put what should be a target the target the first target is 39200 and then eventually once it breaks 39180 we can see a further fall until 39030 or 40 something like that okay so all trades i'm focusing more on put side call side trade is only this but only with a limited quantity and what if we open gap down say imagine we are opening around 39150 that's a great place okay we just need a bounce like this and you could enter in a put side here or safe traders can wait for the day low to break and they can enter here your target should be 39000 and then 38 940 uh, or 930 and then 38 850 so this should be your last target okay so this is my view on bank nifty let's quickly check out nifty so nifty has traded completely sideways okay so when it has traded sideways what we normally do is we'll just put a range okay, say this is a range for nifty okay so what we'll do is when do we take a put position so put position should be uh around when it starts trading below this middle line so this line is 17 800 so if nifty uh say that it's opening so this is a resistance for sure okay so say that if nifty is opening with a slight gap down that means this resistance is still valid okay but uh here you can try a put uh, in case if you're interested because the price action is nifty is not that convincing like bank nifty but you can try a put with a small sl or the best thing is let it break this level it will come above this and it will start doing time pass here and then it can break that again so once you get this up move okay it starts sustaining about this level is when you will enter in a put so what should be that entry point let me just tell you that somewhere around 17813 okay so imagine you are entering around 17 uh 810 to 815 and your sl should be 17 8 uh, 40 in this spot okay and what should be your target so the target should be uh somewhere around 17 720 should be your first target and then it may attempt to fill the gap uh and come to this particular swing around 17680 okay so 17680 so these are the two targets on the downside now we spoke about a flat opening and a gap down opening so in any case if it is trading below 17800 we will wait for it to come up like this and then it may go down so we'll attempt to put trade here so here or here okay and do not go and buy a put here okay then you may see market going up like this so don't do it here so the best place is 17800 or 17830 okay so your yeah, sl can be 17830 and not 840 it should be 830 and imagine that uh market opens here and it gives a dip let it give a dip and then if it breaks this high uh, you can buy a call option but only one lot not more than that or 50 percent quantity whatever you try and your target can be 17 950 but it will go very ring ring okay so without a momentum 
So upside trade, I'm not interested at least for tomorrow until and unless Algo takes it. But uh, downside, we can definitely be sure that we can see some momentum. But since there is a divergence in both Nifty and Bank Nifty, it can be confusing at times. And we also know that, you know, FIS positions is a cautious position. So they may do a lot of activity tomorrow so that they can plan the expiry accordingly. So I think uh, to take a bear trade, uh, attempt it in Bank Nifty rather than Nifty. And Nifty also, since we are at a resistance, it is not advisable to go for a call trade. Like we opened at the trend line today. See, we open at the trend line, open high candle, it immediately came down and it sustained here. So not a very good scenario or a good sign here. Okay. Uh, I hope you all understood the analysis for tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.